So into our previous video, we have discussed that CH mode uses two type of permission setting. Very first, we can set or change the permissions by using a symbolic method that we are going to see over here. So if I'm using a symbolic method for changing the permission, I'll be using some characters. So this particular characters or this particular operators which I'll be using can be used with ch more command where I'll be using one that is my plus symbol for adding a permission to a file. Now for example, I want to add execute permission. So I'll be just giving the plus x. If I want to add a write permission, I'll be using plus r or if I want to add an read permission, I'll be using plus r. Here we have subtract permission. Subtract symbol will be used for removing a certain permission. Like if already I have some read, write, execute for my group, if I want to remove it, I'll be using minus r for everything. If I want to remove only write permission from it, I'll be using minus w. That means you're just removing a write permission. If I want to remove a read permission, I'll be using hyphen r. So same way we have is equals to. Equals to sign is for replacing the complete formation. Now as we have seen like plus and minus can be used for adding or removing the formation. But what if, if I want to change the complete formation at a time? In spite of adding or removing it, I can directly use equals to symbol for changing the complete formations at a time. So let us see into the terminal how we can use the symbolic method for changing the formation of a file into our Linux. So on desktop, we have multiple files and we can give another command to check the permissions of the files and directory. Now as discussed, you can see there is a first bit. When I have created a file, it is showing me hyphen command. Even if I create a new file, it will show me dash in front of the file name, right? That means this is a file. But if I create a directory, now if I am creating create a directory, with uh, folder 2 and let's check the directory has d in front of it right that means the first bit is clear dash means a file d means a directory now we are going to talk about the permissions so as discussed we have the groups of three of these bits so three bits group we will have for the owner permission three bits group we will have the permission for the group while these three bits we will assign for the others. So basically the sequence is fixed. First read, then write, then execute. If you do not have execute, it will remain blank. That means it will be a dash. So here uh, in document one, we have read write permission to a file. That means the trainer, this is the owner of the directory, has only read and write permission, no execute. Now if I want to use or if I want to add execute permission using a symbolic way, I'll be using in such a way, ch mode. Now here u means owner, g means group and o means others. Now I'll give ch mode u, I want to add, so plus sign execute permission so x. So I'm going to add owner and execute permission for a file called as document one let us check whether this change has been done or not you can check we have added it right so now if suppose i want to um, the right permission from here execute has already been removed so if i want to just remove the right permission so i just want to define my group so that they can only read the content of my file so i can give ch mode g that is for group minus for removing a permission and here I'm going to remove the right permission from the same file document one and just have a look we have just removed the right permission from here right so it access only read and other two are blank that means the group has only read permission now same way we can also set permissions for others now for others if i suppose i want to define read and execute permission so again i'll be giving the same command ch mode o for others i want to add execute permission for 
the same for document 1 let us have a list and you can see we have just added the execute permission now if I want to keep the all the permissions together now for example I want to remove write permission from the owner and um, I want to add execute permission to the group simultaneously I'll give the command ch mode u minus w so I'm going to remove the write permission from the owner which basically we don't do but here I'm doing for showing the practical then into the group we are going to add the execute permission right so plus x and for others I don't want to make any changes so leave it as it is and to the file called as document one let us check the changes it happened now the owner has read and execute group has read and execute while we haven't made any changes into the document though we have read and execute now same way if I want to remove this both read and execute from the others let us check again we have read and execute I want to remove both read and execute at a time from the others I'll be giving the command ch mode o minus r minus x from or minor r x from document 1 just give and check there is no permission to my document 1 for the other users who are not into my group as well as who is not owner right so this is way how we can change the directory permissions by using plus and minus signs now also we have an operator called as equals to we can also use equals to to replace the content of a file now for example I want my user permission to set as read write execute group permission as read and execute so without looking to your uh, existing permission we can replace the permission completely and for others I want to set only read permission for the same file document one and let's check it's changed read write execute for the owner read and execute for the group while others has only read permission so this is how generally we set the permission using the parameters and one more we can see if suppose I want to set re, uh, your owner group and others the same permission so we can also use ch mode a a means all all means user group and others I want to set all read write and execute permission that too I want to give full control to everyone so I will giving the command document one just let us have a look on this particular document and I can see read and execute for owner read and execute for your group and again read and execute for the others so simultaneously we can check the same permission to all three groups so this is how we have seen how we can use the symbolic method to change the permission of the you know document or a particular directory we have created now into next video we are going to see how we can do it by using the octal way